I was telling Tom Taylor, the referee, I said, you're waiting, uh, you're waiting to ring fell off. He said, not mine. I don't know whose it is. Yeah. Well, there's only three people in there. As you can see, it's late covering some women's boxing. I covered the first fight with these two women for Sean Cruz to Zern. Her debut was the same debut as uh, Clarissa Shields when Clarissa Shields was fighting at 168 pounds. She's now fighting at 154. So, as you can see, it's past 2 a.m. Um, I'm one more fight from the main event. I've already covered the Tyson Fury card. Now getting through this um, Alati card. That's um, Cruz Zern right there. But uh, women's boxing has been really lit the last, like, year and a half. They, they're getting more television exposure. You know, this is a co-feature. It wasn't supposed to be a co-feature. I don't know what the fuck happened there. Oh, yeah, that was the slip. She was uh, lunging. Um... Ryan Garcia versus Avery Sparrow was supposed to be the co-feature, but Avery Sparrow got booked. And then she was supposed to fight. I forgot the girl's name. Alejandro, Alejandra Jimenez or something like that. But um, she couldn't make weight during fight week, so they scrapped that fight. This card was just a disaster. So they called up uh, Cornejo for the rematch. And, you know, she wasn't prepared for it. And with a few days notice, she was in the ring. And basically, this fight turned out to be the same way as the first fight. With uh, Cruz Zern being the pressure fighter, power puncher. And um, pretty much, I like to look at her as a, as, as a tank. She's gotten a lot better since her pro debut against Carissa Shields. Now, she's still crude. She's with Barry Hunter down there um, in that, that, that D.C. There he is right there. Down there in that D.C. gym area. With guys like uh, Lamont Peters and Adrian Broner has been known to train down there. Javonta Tank Davis. Bear Hunter has been currently working with um, Sean Porter. That's Cornejo. And, uh, yeah, this is on the undercard of uh, Patrick um, Richard. God damn, fucking say. That's great. Call Patrick Alati Richard Comey. Here, let's listen in. Please subscribe. And now... Unified WBC, WBO, Super Middleweight World Champion, the heavy hitting diva, Franchon Cruz Desern! Cruz Cruz Desern defends her title, picks up another belt, even though it appears Cornejo did take a couple of the rounds in the opinion of the judges. Great feeling by the heavy hitting diva becoming the unified champion. One thing, one thing women's boxing really needs is, and you know, we're getting back on it because uh, my website has crashed, is to make sure they keep up with the women's boxing rankings like they do with the men's boxing rankings. You know, knowing who the mandatories are. Like they need more structure, especially at the higher weight divisions. You know, it's a mess up there past 160 and up. It's a mess. 160, yeah, but 168 and all that, it's a mess. They got to fix it up. So, unfortunately, I wish I could tell you who, you know, could be next. But, as I said, it's hard to keep up with a lot of the fights, you know, not being televised. I mean, maybe they could revisit the um, Alejandra. Here's the girl she's with a fight. Uh, Yemen has fight. She's 12-0-1 with uh, nine KOs. 32 years old. Maybe they can revisit this. And this girl... Has fought all the way as high. No wonder why she couldn't make weight. The girl she's going to fight for is all the way as high as fucking... Let's listen in. Please subscribe. My bad. Go back 30 seconds. As well, it was Cruz Desern with the heavier shots and the consistent and effective battle plan. Wonder why the poor girl Let's go to the winner right now. Cut the weight. champion is there with Chris Bannon. Three years ago, Franchon, congratulations. She was 225. Franchon, congratulations. A lot of emotion in your face after they announced you were the winner. What was going through your mind? That I looked terrible. <laughs> no, I just, I'm so happy. First of all, like I said, mucho amor para Mexico. I, no, listen. I have history with Mexico. My sister is Mexican. I love boxing just like you. I'm for unity, and this is not just for me. This is for women boxers in Mexico, and China, and Russia, America. This week has been hell, and I stood in hell and made heaven. 
I stood in hell and made heaven. And this is just another testimony to show if you believe in yourself and you put the work in, you stay focused no matter how many distractions, how much bull crap comes, you just stick to the plan and complete the mission. Why has this week been hell? <laughs> As you can see, well, first of all, September 10th, happy anniversary to my husband, Glenda Zern Jr. of seven years. <laughs> Thank you. I got out here thinking I was gonna fight one person, a person that was bullying me on the internet, a person that felt like they could come step in my place and take what's mine. Ain't nobody taking shit from me. Oh, snap. Alejandra, Jimenez, whatever you identify as, if you want this work, you could come get it too. I'm not here for a good time. I'm here for a long time. I'm tired of girls babysitting the belt. This is the land of the warriors, not the posers, not the models. This is for real boxing. I want to be respected just like the men be respected. I'm going to step up to the plate and take the challenges. So once again, thank you, California. Thank you to my Mexican people, my Hispanic people. Viva Mexico. Let's have a good time. You knew, you knew Franchon. You knew you were up on the scorecards going that final round, but, well, Barry, he says to you, get off your stool, go out there. What did you make of his instructions going into the 10th? If he say jump, I'm going to say how high. I might not get there, but I'm going to at least try. I don't go into any match thinking that I'm entitled to anything. I go in with the underdog mentality. I just want to give shout out to my sponsor, On With Nation Athletics, uh, Neural Movement, Snack, my spa partners, Nashi. Scooter, Max, my whole gym headbangers. Shout out to my coaches. Shout out to God. Shout out to my promotional company. You hear me? They listened to me. They gave me what I wanted. Jesus is I my homeboy too. Thank you to the zone. And by the time I'm finished, it's gonna be Dezern. <laughs> Congratulations, Give me Fred. my deal. Give me my deal. No. Ryan. <laughs> All right, we're going to see. So I guess they probably, it's smart, you know, revisit this uh, the, uh, Alejandro Jimenez fight, whatever she identifies as. But she was, she's 5 foot 11. She was 2. Just in 20. Her weight has been fluctuating. Does she have a baby? And come back and try to get the weight off? Or maybe, you know, she was up at heavyweight and she had to move down. Hey, let's go look her up. She had to move down. Because, like I said, the rankings are in shambles up there. Let's go see Alejandro Jimenez, boxing. Let's see where you at. Let's get some. Let's get some tape. Oh, she's a big lady, big girl, huh? Okay, that's a huge weight cut she had to do. He's, he's okay. Okay. Oh, she did cut. She cut weight. Oh shit! That ain't her. That's her. Whatever you identify, ooh, is she? Oh, I'm going to leave that one alone. I'm going to leave it alone. I'm T-Street Controversy. This is T-Street Controversy Live. Please subscribe.